Welcome to Lisa's Littles. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today is Monday. Happy Monday to everyone. I know it has been a while since I put up a video and I am cheating because I have Mia here with me and Mia is still in her uh, Toddler Tuesday outfit from last week. So we decided to go ahead and utilize the outfit for one more video. I know that I haven't uploaded a filmed video in about five days and I do apologize for that. Um, my youngest son has stomach issues and I don't know how many of you remember but back in May he had a severe gallbladder attack. We ended up going to the hospital. They ended up transferring, to, transferring him to a out of town hospital to remove some stones that were stuck. We went about six months being in the clear. Um, they did not remove his gallbladder at that time because they said besides the stones being stuck, it looked like a healthy gallbladder, so they were not going to remove it. So we went about six months in the clear of no stomach aches, and lo and behold, on Saturday, he had another gallbladder attack. So we went to the emergency room and spent around six hours at the emergency room. It was a Saturday night. We only have a one local hospital with one emergency room. So I knew it was going to be packed, but he was in such severe pain that we decided to go and make sure that nothing was obstruct obstructed again. So they did all the testing and everything else and we found out that there was nothing, no obstruction. They gave him some medicine for pain and for nausea and vomiting. And by the time we were discharged, he was feeling much, much better. So our next step is to make an appointment with our primary care to be referred to a gastro doctor to talk about the possibility of just removing it. Because for those of you who don't know, um, there are certain foods that trigger gallbladder attacks if you've had trouble with your gallbladder. Um, I had mine removed. I want to say it's been like 15 years ago, about 15 years ago. And so I went through the same kind of attacks and pain that he did for quite a while and it is no fun. Um, all the doctors are always baffled why he is getting them because he is really tall and very, very slim and he only has like 2% body fat on him. He is not overweight. If you recall back in the day, gallbladder disease used to be a female 40 year old fat person disease. And I'm not joking about that. That is how it was back in the 70s, 80s. Um, but now apparently if you have a history of family history of gallbladder issues, then it doesn't matter what age you are, you can have them too. So that is what we dealt with. Um, we were exhausted by the time we got home. We did not get home from the hospital until about five o'clock in the morning. So needless to say, we were all exhausted. And on Sunday, I was still so tired that I did not get to make you guys a recorded video. So I just put out a, um, what did I put out for Sunday? I think it was just Parker watching some Christmas, some old Christmas commercials. It is Monday. It is really Monday right now. It is almost 7 p.m. and I am just now starting to record this. So I do apologize for those days of where you guys only saw either slideshows or Christmas commercials. I personally love the old vintage Christmas commercials. I could watch those every day, but I know it's not the same as having a recorded video. So here we are. It is Monday. I know it is Disney Monday, but we decided to change this Monday up and make it a Monday fun day. And I have Mia here in her Christmas outfit. She has a little Snoopy that used to light up right before we started this video, but apparently the battery decided to die, so he is not lit up, but he does light up. It is a Christmas Snoopy. And then she has her Christmas reindeer. And as you can see, the Christmas reindeer, or doe, is actually lit up. And we decided to come on and do a favorite Christmas movie with Mia. So these are actually Mia's favorite Chris, uh, Christmas movies. And I, have get, I gave her a choice of two movies and she picked which one that she liked best. 
So we are doing Mia's favorite Christmas movie tag. And you guys can actually participate and you can either use one of your babies and give their favorite movie or you can choose for yourself which movie out of the two that you prefer. So we are gonna go ahead and get started because this movie is our, our movie. This video is already five minutes long and I still have to edit it and get it up for you guys. This is gonna be a super late upload. I do apologize for that. But hopefully some of you can catch it tomorrow if you didn't catch it today. And I'd also like to say before we start, I hope that Sam at Reborn Love Babies and Renee at Renee's Reborns feel better. I saw their post where there is no Toddler Tuesday this week because they weren't feeling well. I hope that they feel better very, very soon. Okay, Mia's favorite Christmas movies. Number one, Surviving Christmas or Fred Claus. Mia loves Fred Claus. So Mia's favorite movie out of those two is Fred Claus. Number two, Deck the Halls or Christmas with the Cranks. She had a really hard time choosing between, between these two because she does like both movies, but she absolutely loves Deck the Halls because of the Christmas light fight that the two neighbors get into. So she loves Deck the Halls. Number three, The Santa Claus or Jingle All the Way. This one was another hard choice for Mia, but Mia absolutely loves Jingle All the Way. She does like San the Santa Claus, but she will watch Jingle All the Way on repeat if you let her. So out of those two, Jingle All the Way is Mia's favorite. Number four, Christmas Vacation or A Christmas Story. She likes both, but she absolutely is in love with A Christmas Story. She watches it over and over. She loves Ralphie, she loves Randy, and she absolutely loves how persistent that Ralphie is trying to get that Red Ryder BB gun. So out of those two, Mia loves A Christmas Story. Number five, One Magic Christmas or The Grinch. She likes One Magic Christmas, but she finds it too sad. So out of these two, her favorite is The Grinch because in the end, we all know that The Grinch has a change of heart for Whoville. So out of those two, Mia's favorite movie is The Grinch. And last but not least, Elf or Home Alone. She loves Elf because of how silly he is. But she also loves Home Alone because she loves how Kevin fights off the burglars, the wet bandits. So she told me on this one, you guys, on number six, she could not make a choice because she loves the elf and Home Alone equally. So she told me that to tell you guys that she could not pick between these two. She was sorry, but she loved Home Alone and Elf equally. So there you have it. There are Mia's favorite Christmas movies, this or that. So if any of you would like to participate, that would be awesome. You can use any of your babies or you can choose yourself and let us know what your favorite Christmas movie is between the two that we let you choose from. Well guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Mia and I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it for you. And until next time, bye guys.